welcome to tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm your host, Lydia Patel, and I'm here with two very special guests. We're going to have a great interview here tonight. I've got Pat Lasad, who is at LCSW, and Stephen Walsh, also at LCSW, right here sitting with us. Like I said, great topics. We're talking about relationships. We're going to analyze the mind a little bit. So stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm here, Lydia Patel, and we have a great interview for us. If you're now tuning in, you are just in time. To my left, I've got Stephen Walsh, LCSW, and I've got Pat Lassad, LCSW as well. And we have so much to talk about tonight. Um, both of you bring a wealth of knowledge to the table. So before I get interrupted and let myself do anything else, I want you guys to introduce yourselves. Great. So Stephen, take it away. Thank you. Well, my name is Steve Welch, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker with a private practice in Manhattan, 34th Street, and uh, work with a variety of um, relationship, uh, adult, and youth uh, issues. All right. And Pat, you're... Well, my name is Pat Lasad. I'm also an LCSW. Um, I am a relationship coach and therapist as well. I have a practice in Manhattan and New Jersey, and I primarily work with helping people, whether it be individuals or couples, improve their relationships. Great. So what I think we'll do tonight, we'll talk about different facets of relationships, different things, hot topics, mm -hmm. and bring it from the coaching side mm -hmm. and also from the psychoanalytical Mm -hmm. side a little bit mm -hmm. really break it down because there's so much that's going on relationships nowadays mm -hmm. you hear so many different things everything from why get married you know the the terms and definitions have completely changed um one of the hot things i want to talk about was mm -hmm. facebook social media mm -hmm. let's dive straight mm -hmm. into it because we hear it all the time i, I read different chat rooms mm -hmm. from blogs and couples couples are fighting over social media everything from you didn't list me as your spouse or girlfriend or in a relationship to who you're liking on Instagram. So let's talk about the coaching. In your practice, is this something that's coming up? Do you hear these topics come up? Absolutely. And I'm glad that you brought it up because um, one of the things that we look at now with relationships, it's how they've changed. So 10 years ago, 15 years ago, no one was really talking about their status on Facebook. So now I'm dealing with couples who are coming in and literally they're arguing on Twitter. They're upset because their significant other liked another female friend. And there are a lot of concerns and a lot of stress coming through social media into the love relationship and so I think it's important that when people are building intimate relationships that there be clear communication and boundaries so that's one of the things that I would work on with couples that come in with a concern about social media in their relationship setting boundaries and I want to take that over to you Break this down for us. Okay. What's, what's going on in the mind aspect? Of course, we know there's jealousy, there's emotions. Um, sometimes people may, it's, it's easy to misconstrue things on social media. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people think, well, it's more lighthearted and innocent comment, mm -hmm. but how I may perceive an innocent comment could lead to direct messaging mm -hmm. and inbox and little pictures being mm -hmm. sent. And it, it does open the door. Sure. My, my response is a little bit more general um, because I think the, the aspect that I'll bring to this discussion today is really around men and mental wellness and how men tend to not view themselves as having issues or problems. And so if there are issues or problems that occur as a result of uh, social media, mm -hmm. men may either tend to either um, discredit it or become very aggressive by it, um, be very accusatory. And one of the, the main emotions men are allowed to feel is aggression and anger. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're more likely to respond with an issue with yeah. anger and aggression. Mm -hmm. So one of the areas that I uh, work on, uh, especially with men, is how they can communicate a lot better in relationships with their spouses, significant others, and so forth. And we don't discriminate here beyond Focus TV. We try to keep everything open for everybody. Is this a common issue also in the LGBT community? 
Well, I'm going to defer to uh, Stephen on that because that's his area of expertise. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, uh, uh, clearly, uh, when we're talking about relationships, we're talking about people. Yes. And so whether we're male, female, however we want to define ourselves, we're human beings. And so therefore, uh, there will be conflicts in relationships. Um, in a recent um, article I recently had published called Five um, Reasons Why the LGBT Community of Color Need to Invest in Their Mental Wellness really talks about um, not only your relationship with um, others, but your relationship with yourself. Hmm. As LGBT folks, mm -hmm. um, we have, in, uh, how would one say, we've digested many negative self-concepts because of right. the wider culture not only around uh, sexual orientation, but also color, social status, who we date, why are we dating, are we tops, are we bottoms, are we masculine identified, are we feminine really? identified, et cetera. All those issues mm -hmm. all impact relationships as well. That's interesting. So when you get mm -hmm. um, gay or lesbian couples that come in mm -hmm. to you with coaching or come in to see how they could patch their relationships, maybe mm -hmm. move forward. Mm -hmm. The same common issues do come up. Absolutely. We're talking about communication, um, lack of negotiation skills. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's the family of origin that the individuals come from and the relationship skills that they have brought in from their family of origin. So whether it's a gay couple, a straight couple, it's the same issues. Are we communicating? Are we negotiating? Are we setting boundaries? And do we have respect in our relationship for the other person's belief systems? Now, speaking about that, because boundaries is such mm -hmm. a, a sensitive topic, because mm -hmm. what I may consider is crossing the line, mm -hmm. you may not see that. Exactly. Um, I may feel that it's okay for you or to leave an innocent comment, or what I may feel is an innocent comment, and my partner may not think mm -hmm. that was appropriate behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would you say from your standpoint would be the best way to define um, what would be a clear boundary for certain things? And what really is considered inappropriate is uh, sometimes, you know, women were told to be wild out. Mm. You're going crazy. You know, mm -hmm. you're bugging. You mm -hmm. All these different things that we're told. Mm -hmm. But if, you, if there's this particular person that you keep every day liking their pictures, you see them on their page... Mm -hmm. Can I, I think that's that reason. Absolutely. Take the floor. Uh, I will respond to it this way. In any relationship, I think mm -hmm. it's about what does the couple agree to? What are the agreed upon mm -hmm. boundaries that we establish together? Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in my relationship, let's say with you, we may agree on certain ways of communicating. With another relationship, that way of communicating could be considered volatile. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's what the couple agrees to mm -hmm. that um, promotes health in that relationship. Absolutely. That would be a general response. I, I actually agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think that would be good. Like, we agree, well, this is what we're both comfortable exactly. with. Right. But I'm looking at more of the, the behavior of why mm -hmm. are you liking this person? Mm -hmm. Or it could be myself. Why do I find myself having to communicate with this person all the time? Mm -hmm. Well, I think with, with couples counseling specifically, you have to remember that each individual has their own life experience that they're bringing with them. And they have their own priorities. They have... Um, their own value system and when people get together it's about accepting and getting to know who you're in a relationship with so let's say I'm in a relationship with someone and I value my privacy so I don't put everything that happens in our relationship on Facebook but my partner may be very open and come from a family where they share everything so these two different frames of being in a relationship it's going to create conflict right well hold that thought okay. we're gonna take a quick break I want to pick back up on that okay, that's a no big problem. topic right here keep it with us you're watching Beyond Focus TV
Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, sitting down here with Stephen Walsh, LCSW, and Pat Lasad, also LCSW. Great topics here tonight about relationships, intimacy, how we can make things better. We're going into a new year. 2015 is right around the corner. I want to start off the year, you know, on a positive note, maybe end off, you know, for, for those going through little things, you know, one of your resolutions may be to meant certain things so mm -hmm. this episode may actually help you out um before we took a break we last left off with mm -hmm. you know if one member of the team is a big poster i love posting everything and documenting we go for a picnic we're out on a saturday afternoon it's kids family happy 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 or creating that illusion of everybody had lead such happy lives on social media absolutely actually. but my partner doesn't agree he mm -hmm. doesn't even like being on facebook mm -hmm. or like being on instagram mm -hmm. how do we deal with that well, Stephen alluded to this earlier. Basically, the couple has to sit down and decide for our relationship what works and what doesn't work. So at this point, if the two people cannot come up with a solution on their own, this is where a couple's therapist or relationship coach would come into play and be that mediator, that neutral person who could help the couple negotiate something that works for both of them. And from your point, what would you say? Um, I, th I have to agree with uh, Pat. Um, I also think that men um, need to learn certain skills in terms of communication. We're not, all, we're not socialized to really be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. One of, the, one of the, the worst things you want to ask a guy is to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So that means talking about their feelings. If they're hurt by something that you've said, you posted something on social media, it hurt my feelings, they're more likely to be pissed and yelling as opposed to saying, you know, hey, when somebody did that to me when I was nine, I was really <laughs> devastated when somebody put my personal stuff out there. Mm -hmm. And that's really where they're responding from, not maybe not necessarily from that actual posting. Um, so part of what I do is really help a lot of men get in touch with their feelings mm -hmm. and be able to articulate um, what their needs are, how to be supportive to their partners, et cetera. So it's very needed. How would you describe, and I've heard this plenty of times from different girlfriends, you know, they want to publicize what their status is, their partner doesn't want to, mm. mm -hmm. you're trying to keep it a secret. They feel, well, at some point there has to be a healthy level of being out there together. Mm. Disclosure. Mm. Certain level. The I think there's a healthy level. Doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean pictures. I mean, I've heard it all from, well, who know us? No, mm -hmm. they were together. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you bring us around. I'm always in limited to that circle yes. of people. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with that? And I'm sure you've heard this come up. Well, I can honestly say this particular issue is a, a specific age demographic. So I work with couples who are in their 20s to couples that are in their 60s. So my older folks are not on Facebook as much and are not concerned with statuses, but my 20s and 30-somethings, this is the way they communicate, yeah. right? So I think there needs to be an honest discussion about what is appropriate and needed online versus what is something that we're going to keep personal. A lot of celebrities now, you'll see, like for Beyonce, we didn't know Beyonce and Jay-Z were together for a very long time. There was speculation, people thought they were together, but there's some things that don't need to be broadcast to the whole entire world. And my question as a therapist is, what is it that makes us so compelled to put ourselves out in front for everyone to see? Is it a need to be validated? Is it a need to feel that people are supporting us? There's something deeper to that. And as a therapist, I would want to explore that with an individual or a couple that comes in with that particular issue. And as a female, I actually would say that something we're to more have the tendency to want to do that. You mm -hmm. see women are the ones who are quicker, mm -hmm. which goes back to your point, an uh, excellent point, that men don't really communicate. Mm -hmm. Not that they don't know how. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying you need to tap into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. right. Or the way guys show their communication is, especially with Instagram, it's a little heart. Mm -hmm. But, again, it's, it's easy to like a picture and just put a simple heart mm -hmm. and not l really mm -hmm. express yourself with words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.